It's such an honor and a pleasure to be out here with so many young people that have accepted one of the most incredible challenges you'll ever face in your life, and that's the academic challenge of studying science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, because that is the future of our nation. I have a feel for what it means to be associated with one of the outstanding historically black colleges uh, in America. And therefore, I am deeply honored to be a part of tonight's event as we honor some of America's finest students in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Thank you all so much for such a wonderful opportunity, recognizing the things that do happen in the military. But I would love to say, that without all the support that comes from the community and everyone else that puts everything into that, what they do, we would not be able to do our jobs. Thank you so much for that. These individuals have demonstrated an interest and a commitment to volunteering and learning while impacting the academic atmosphere of their campuses and of their community. Well, hello everybody. Um, first, I would like to thank my nominee, my auntie. Uh, Auntie Michelle Stevenson. Um, I have the honor of having my grandmother in the audience. Awesome. So I want to thank my grandmother, Mary Lou Stevenson, and my last family member, Miss Connie. Um, so it's been a long time coming. Um, I am the co captain of the Spellbots team, and with my partner, Janicia, who unfortunately couldn't be here today. Um, I'm very proud to see um, so many, first off, so many engineers in the audience and so many other African Americans doing such great things. If it does not contribute to the success of the surrounding community. The honoree of this award has become a part of the necessary effort to give back to the surrounding community, much as the general mentioned. First off, I'd like to first thank the coordinators of this event. I mean, this is a magnificent event. I'm looking forward to the experiences tomorrow and also uh, for the remainder of today. And I'd also like to thank Mr. Travis Griffin, who nominated me for the award, and also for all of my colleagues at the University of Tennessee. Thanks again. Why you can't maintain a connection with sports. As the NFL deals with serious issue of concussions, it's engineers who are developing newer and safer football helmets. As more and more bowlers reach that perfect 300 game, they can thank engineers who develop the core of the balls that affect the hook and slice. All right, first and foremost, I just want to thank my parents, Angela and Reginald Davis, for giving me birth, Toya Dean for nominating me, and Tuskegee University for just being there and doing everything they can in my life. And I just want to give thanks. Oh, one more thing. T.U. Hey. When I see a group of talented young people like the ones in, the, in attendance tonight, it makes me realize that my efforts have made a difference. And for that, I thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you are great. You are CEOs. And you got to start thinking like a CEO now. So you got to get a revelation of that. No, it's not like you get in the job and then you're walking up this corporate ladder and then I'll get this fellowship. No, you are CEO now. So that means you got to start thinking about your spending now. You got to think about who your board of directors are. You have board of directors. They're your friends. You know those folks that you spend the most time with? I know some of y'all like, yeah, Bentley, I'm going home and I'm firing some people tonight. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, you need to fire some of them because right now you are not competing against Norfolk State. You're not competing against Tuskegee. You're not competing against Harvard. You are competing in a global economy. But the good news is you are the brightest and the best. And you understand that you are CEOs. So when you leave here, I want you to continue to expand on your ideas, continue to expand on your dreams, support one another. People talk about networking, the networking starts here. Exchange information, that's what you wanna do. I'm here because I believe. That's why I'm here today. So, remember, God's gift to you is your life. What you do with it is your gift back to God.